Hey, Mark Shepard here, and uh, I want to talk a little bit really briefly today about this channel and it's evolving. Uh, as many of you know, I'm a hypnotherapist. I'm also a long time for 45 years now, singer songwriter and somebody who has been constantly working on his stuff for one main overriding purpose. And that is the, the personality that enables me that generates songs compulsively, uh, uh, to date, I'm at 558 songs over the course of a lifetime. Literally now I'm in my fifth decade. I started, they started getting good in about 1976 and I've struggled all my life and it's such a painful point and I don't want to, I don't want to belabor it, but every time I attempted to get my music out, something stopped me. Uh, at first it was because I was shy. Uh, it was because I was, I'm kind of a hypersensitive guy. Uh, I'm an empath. I sense energy. Um, I've struggled all my life with not quite fitting into our culture and feeling kind of like an outsider. And a lot of creative people feel this. Uh, but every time I attempted to get my music in front of an audience, it was either to this or to that or not that or not the other thing. And it just seemed like no matter what I did, I couldn't do it. And then the other piece was I had no energy. I, I had kind of a chronic fatigue kind of syndrome or whatever you call it. I had massive anxiety, uh, anxiety about performing, anxiety about uh, picking up the phone. And all these different things have been something that as I worked on myself as I just faced the fact that I'm the one creating my own stuff uh, over the years I developed I started studying with an energy healer I started studying hypnosis and neurolinguistics and all these different things always always to try to clear the block that was keeping me from getting my music out and in the process of that technology has come to the point we have the internet, we have uh, video, we have the ability for an individual person to be a storyteller. And that's a whole other area of my life where I became a storyteller for kids and doing kids music. Um, and it was all basically to serve this body of work that has chosen me to write it over the years. So this channel has evolved. Uh, at one point it was my hypnosis channel. And then last year I decided to get really serious about my money beliefs and my lack beliefs and my poverty consciousness and the, uh, the fact that I just didn't get money. So I started studying money and I started studying cryptocurrencies and I began to, to raise money for my music using cryptocurrencies. And so I, in that, in that process, I did a daily program called the morning cryptos, uh, which I kind of ended about two weeks ago as of, as of this video. But right now what I'm doing is I am, I've committed to doing one music video almost every day. Uh, I have 500 songs, uh, probably a good 450 of them are worth music videos, <laughs> right? Um, and I want, I want to get this stuff out before I die. That's really basically it. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but ultimately we're now at a place in the world where people's attention is so scattered and the world is kind of on the verge of something weird about to happen. It feels like, and I think it's time for people to hear my music. And, uh, so this next year, this next phase of my life is going to be all about putting up a video almost every day and finding places where I can actually play where people actually give a shit about lyrics, about um, the meaning in the songs. And uh, it's a minority in the world and it's okay. Uh, record companies will never, will never sign me. Um, radio stations will never play my music. The only opportunity I seem to have is to put my stuff out on the internet where someone like you might be able to find it. And here's what I really need your help in. I need your help. If you can subscribe to this channel, that helps. If you can give a thumbs up to a video you like, if you can share this with somebody, 
you know, in any place that you go, it would really help me because I have no marketing team. It's just me. It's just me. And um, I'm doing this because I want to do it, because I love doing it. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because this is where, this is this is what life is calling me to do. And uh, so I, I welcome you to my channel and I hope you'll check stuff out and please please share it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you as well. I have a website, markshepherdsongs.com, where you can, I'm literally indexing all of the songs, so you can you can just type in a, a subject and find one of my songs about that. Um, and I'm learning how to make films. I'm learning how to make my songs and my visuals kind of go together to be something that not only uh, entertains people, but hopefully provides a little bit of a healing force in the world. So uh, some of the stuff I do is called sound healing hypnosis, where I'll go to maybe a yoga center or a meditation place or a spiritual but not religious uh, center, a festival, um, or even a school, and uh, just kind of follow where the songs lead. And, and I add in a little bit of... Uh, conversational hypnosis for that, positive, uplifting, inspirational, motivational, encouraging words to help people get through their day, get through their lives. So that's one piece. I also will be doing concerts. Um, you can find some of the uh, the video, live video from my, my one single concert with uh, my band, The Rogue Mystics. Um, I called it the last concert. It was also the first concert and most of it was totally unrehearsed because to have a 10 piece band, you need an audience, right? But no one's heard of me yet. So that's kind of, it's always been this catch 22. Do I create good music or do I spend time on trying to market myself? And um, so that's, that's what I'm doing. And uh, this was too long, but that's the way it always is. And I love you guys. I just want somehow, some way to use this music to make a positive difference in the world in a way that works for me, for my neurology, <laughs> um, and also works for people like me, the introverts of the world, uh, the people who actually read books, uh, or who at least know how to read, and uh, people who get the lyrics, get stuck in your head, and can actually be a force for positive, far more positive, far more powerful, perhaps, than just saying an affirmation over and over again. And a lot of what I do linguistically is uh, tied in with transformation and change and healing and empowerment and love and all the different things that the human being who is attempting to wake up from uh, the, the domestication of our culture and our society might find valuable. So that's it. Um, I got to get back to making my next video and uh, I will uh, hopefully see you in the next, in the next one. Thanks. Over and out. By the way, if you like it, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share this. Thanks.